What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Damien and this is another episode of Quarantine and Cook. Actually, this is going to be an episode of Quarantine and Bake. That's right, today we are going to be making the Alley USD Legendary Coffee Cake. And this is their old school coffee cake recipe. They posted it up on their Twitter page, giving people a chance to try it out at home. So I hope you guys try it as well. If you do, tag me on my Instagram, at Damien Boss, and let me know how it comes out. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe, and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. These are the ingredients, now let's get started. So I'm gonna be reading off of the Twitter uh, from the Alley USD, they posted up their recipe on there, like I said. Combine first six ingredients, mix until, until crumbly. Reserve half of the above for topping. So our first ingredient is two and a half cups of, it says baker's flour, and I couldn't find baker's flour, so I'm gonna be using the all-purpose flour. I'm gonna kinda make sure that it's pretty broken up. I don't want any big chunks in there. And this is two and a half cups. Next ingredient is one cup of brown sugar packed. Our next ingredient is half a cup of granulated sugar and one tablespoon. Next ingredient is one tablespoon of salt. One tablespoon of nutmeg. Next, we're gonna be adding three fourths of a cup of salad oil, as the re recipe says. This could be anything like olive oil, peanut oil, or canola oil. Here, I'm gonna be using olive oil. Okay guys, we have combined our first six ingredients and now we are gonna mix until our mix becomes crumbly. We're gonna save about half a cup of this mix to use as a topping for the top of our cake. As you guys can see, we can now recognize those crumbles that we love on the top of our coffee cake. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a separate mixing bowl. Again, half a cup of your of this mix is gonna be used for the topping of your cake. To this separate bowl, you will add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Last but not least, let's go ahead and give this a quick turn to ensure that the cinnamon is spread out evenly. We're just gonna put this aside for now because we're gonna be using it later. Now back in our mix, we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking powder. One egg. And last but not least, one cup of buttermilk. Now we're gonna wanna blend all of our ingredients together, but be careful and make sure you do not over mix.
Okay guys, now that our mix is ready, we're gonna go ahead and pour it into this nine by 13 cake pan. Here we use some butter to grease our cake pan. This is pretty much so that the cake doesn't stick when you're ready to serve it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle the cinnamon crumb topping over the top of the batter. We're gonna pop this into our oven for 350 degrees to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. This cake, I'm gonna be baking it at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and serve myself a slice. I went and let this cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes. You could do it a little longer, but I can't wait. All right guys, there you have it. Legendary coffee cake recipe from the Los Angeles Unified School District. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a bite test. Here we go. It's really moist on the inside. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So good. It tastes just like fifth grade. I can have this. I can eat the whole thing probably by myself. Mmm, it is delicious. Having it with a cold glass of milk. Mm. This was literally my childhood. Childhood cake. Give a special shout out to my friend Brian who wanted me to make this video and has been waiting for it. Brian, this last bite is for you. Cheers, my brother. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe, hit this video a huge thumbs up, and I can't wait to make more videos.